Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to do a plan with me today. It'll be a little different than what I normally do. Um, actually, I would said that I was not going to be doing plan with me's anymore, at least not from scratch. Um, I just felt like I had done everything that I could do from scratch, and if you didn't know, I started my from scratch plan with me spreads as a way to use up the washi tape that we were all buying and hoarding and whatever the case may be. I just wanted to actually put my washi tape to use and doing them from scratch also is a way for people that don't have access to happy planners or don't have um, funds to spend on planners and inserts and all of that to actually be able to just take a piece of paper and a pen and plan out whatever you need to do. Um, adding the washi tape is just a little added decorative um, accent and adding stickers again just a decorative accent. I've done spreads with stamping and played around with inking the pages decorating the pages so a lot of it is more like a crafty artistic creative type of thing um and i was just kind of getting a little discouraged about it but i'm not going to stop for now so i'm going to try and get back to doing things creatively that i enjoy I'm gonna try and continue on schedule, but if I find myself just doing this just because I have to put up a spread for the week, then I won't be doing it. So with that said, I was inspired this week by an Instagram post that I saw. And I really like the spread and the concept behind it. And I hadn't done anything for this week for my spread so I didn't have any ideas again like I said I wasn't even gonna do a spread until I saw that picture so I'm going to go ahead and see what I can come up with um, I'm using a Kaye size notebook it's a dot grid notebook but just know that you can use any size planner or traveler's notebook and do exactly the same thing that I'm doing here. I mean, you have limitations as far as the width of the page or the height of the page, but as far as using washi tape or uh, bullet journal style planning or whatever you're doing, it can all be done in any size planner. So I'm just choosing to try and do a complete year in this notebook. I just want to finish out the year here. Um, I think that kind of is putting limitations on me, but I just want to have, like I said, a completed year. Since I've been doing decorative planning, I've been jumping from one planner to another, um, just changing sizes. And even though I still work with other planners and traveler's notebooks, I just really want to finish out my year here so I am going to move this to the next week because <laughs> uh, I'm not doing April showers this week okay so those are just little reminders of ideas that I want to do for future weeks this week might be a little tricky to do because I'm going to be doing some drawing on the page, so maybe I need to skip another page. I think that's what I'm going to do, and then I'll just move my stickies over again. So I'm going to try and talk through this video. Um, I don't know if I'll end up doing a voiceover or what. I'm going to do that. But what I'm going to start out, this is just a piece of packaging from some micro discs from the Happy Planner. 
and I'm gonna make my egg shape with this if you don't feel comfortable drawing out things or um, making it yourself I'm pretty sure you could find a template on Pinterest for an egg and I've even seen uh, the oval shapes used this is one I don't know if this is one of the Walmart stencils or if this is a stencil that I picked up from Amazon but you could also use that so I thought this little piece of packaging was a good size for this notebook to make my egg so I'm just sketching it out and I probably could just fold this in half and do this but let's just keep it natural <laughs> and simple then I'm just gonna take my scissors and there's my egg shape take my scissors and cut that out that's a little lopsided <laughs> As you can see, it's really, really fat on that side. So I'm not happy with that, but what I will do is see if I have another piece of packaging. Okay, so this is from a bigger um, set of discs, but I think I can get what I need out of this area right here in the middle. Okay, so since I like this side shape, I'm just gonna trace half of it using that side then I'm just gonna flip it over and try to line it up and get the other side so that way I have the shape and it's pretty much the same on both sides so let's cut this one out I'm gonna cut off all this excess so that I'll have an easier time cutting it out This board is a lot thicker than the first one that I used. Hopefully we can get this right this time. This was my main concern about doing this project this way or doing this spread this way. Well, it is a project. But... Okay, so this is my template. For my eggs and I'm going to go ahead and draw them on the page I'm not going to overthink this like I tend to do I'm just going to go with it Well, I probably should have thought about it a little better because I need to leave room. <laughs> well, I can't erase that. See, I'm, a, I'm making a mess. This is how I'll do it. Okay, so we're gonna have to have one egg overlap. be cool with that because I don't have much of a choice at this point and I might want to adjust this egg over some I need a kneaded eraser so that I can erase without leaving a blur on the paper There we go. Okay. So I almost started over. Well, I'm glad I didn't. Now I'm going to get the rest of the stencils that I have from... Um, I'm not going to mess with the Walmart ones for now. 
I'm gonna use these from Amazon. And hopefully there is a bottom, a curved style banner that I can use on the bottom of these eggs. And I think that's it. Let's try, I'm gonna try this one first. No. See, these are all the things you don't want to see. When I am, I don't know, maybe you do wanna see them. <laughs> when I'm trying to do a spread, especially a spread like this, usually I already have ideas of stickers I wanna use, what I want it to look like, what washi tape I want it to. I start with, in my mind, thinking, okay, well, this is the washi tape I wanna use this week. But being that I'm not using washi tape, I don't have that luxury right now to already have an idea in my head. I had the idea based on that bullet journal that I saw, but I didn't know how I was gonna make it work for my spread. This is the one I had at first. So it's gonna be either this one or this one. And another reason why I don't generally do these um, live or in real time is because I like to listen to, either I'm listening to a another YouTuber or I am listening to an audiobook or sometimes listening to the TV. Like right now, it's my day at today. I usually would be watching me TV. I don't think I want. Definitely need to get myself a new kneaded eraser. If you erase a lot, a kneaded eraser is perfect because it doesn't, um, this is not gonna be perfect, Rochelle. Stop trying to make it perfect. Um, it doesn't leave, it doesn't mess up your page and it actually erases thoroughly. So, oh, I didn't do that right. See if I can find some kneaded eraser. I'll be back. So my friend sent this 26-piece <laughs> drawing set to me, and this shows you how much I've been drawing. I I've had this for I don't even know how long. The only time I opened it was to get a piece of the kneaded eraser off to give to my daughter to use because she was drawing. She draws too. So. I was just gonna go in there and get another piece of the eraser and close this back up, but I actually need to start using this. So it's got, this cat is crazy. So it's got the um, sharpeners. It's got, what is this? Charcoal sticks and graphite sticks. These I need to put in something because they will get all over everything. Um, then it's got the different hardness of pencils. So the H's are light, the B's, the higher the number, the darker the lead or the graphite. Now I have a use for my pouch that I got from Walmart. I'll just put everything in here. This is the journal kit that I haul, um, part of the journal kit that I haul. So just put it all in here. Get a little plastic storage bag for that graphite. Okay, put those items in this little bag so that they don't make a mess. And I'm just gonna 
I don't want to take the whole needed eraser, so I'm just still going to just take a piece of it for now. I don't need the whole thing. So I'm finally going to use those pencils. And when I first get this, it's cold. Um, stretch it out. It goes back together kind of like clay. When it gets dirty, you do this and it kind of cleans it. But the great thing about this is that it does not scar up your paper, rip up your paper, <laughs> and it actually gets the pencil marks up. So, it might work a little too well. Okay, let's get back to stenciling. See, I can just go off on a complete tangent. I should be using the drawing pencils for this, but we're going to keep on moving. Uh, I didn't want to connect these lines. So I'm not leaving the gap in the banner. I'm just closing the banner up. So let me show you. So I'm lining the top edge of the banner with the bottom edge of the egg and I'm drawing the whole inside part then on the flags I'm just drawing the outer flag part where it touches the egg see there so and then I'm just connecting the banner to it and erasing the bottom of the egg it's, so it kind of looks like it's sitting down in the banner even though these eggs are huge for these little banners so this one is going to fall behind that egg. Should I just move it over? I think I'm going to move it over now that I have my kneaded eraser. Just move the whole egg. And to make sure that I'm doing the banner as straight as possible, what I'm doing is checking my edge to make sure it's kind of lined up um, with the dots and so my stencil is not like this and I'm trying to draw a flag on the bottom of the egg I'm keeping an eye on the edge of my um, stencil so that it's straight and you can look out either side of the stencil to do that and you would do that see right now it's kind of a little tilted. I'm going to straighten it up a little bit. And that's just a way to help keep you lined up because nine times out of ten the edge of whatever you're working on if it was cut by a machine it's probably a, a true straight edge. Okay so we can erase the bottoms of our eggs now I feel bad about this egg because it's overlapping and none of the other ones are. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to move this bad boy after all. You don't have to go through all of this trouble. I should have spaced my eggs properly before I even started, but I didn't. So. now I have to do extra work because I didn't do it right and now I have the mark from where I tried to erase from with the um, pencil eraser but it's okay we're gonna work around it ignore it as best as we can and maybe I'll come back and put something in the background and that won't even matter anymore so now what are we going to do with these eggs? Is this going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Or is it going to be Monday, Tuesday? Monday, Monday, Tuesday. I don't know. Let's just go for it. Hey. 
Wednesday is the longest word in the days of the week. So if you ever need to adjust, fix your spacing, start with Wednesday. If, if Wednesday fits in whatever you're trying to write or make, then the rest of the days will fit. Just a little tip. So that's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Now where are we going to put our numbers? Now when I'm doing stuff like this, I'm thinking so logically it's not even funny. So really, theoretically, I could just stick the numbers anywhere. But then I'm like, it'll just be floating. It needs to be connected. I don't know. So I need to figure out where, how am I gonna do the numbers? How about we do this? Where's my phone? What are the dates? I think it's the 16th, nope, the 15th through the 21st. So we have double digit numbers. So we can put the one, five. Ta-da. One, six for the 16th. 1-7 for the 17th, 1-8, 1-9, and 21. I don't want to start adding my ink until I'm thoroughly certain that this is how I want to do it. So let's go ahead. Mondays, I usually do basically, I, I generally <laughs> use um, Monday as kind of a guide for everything that I want to do for the week. So I usually list it all out there and then if there's any appointments or anything like that, I put that on a specific day. So this week is a little busy because of rehearsals, but not too crazy. Um, I wanna decorate my eggs, so let's do that. But I wanna put in, oh, come on. Why is this so hard? I wanna put, I want to, um, Put in my lines in my checklist. So here's some lines. I'm gonna push them over to the side. Again, lining up my stencil with the dots. I don't know that I'll need all of these, but I'm putting them anyway. And then I'm gonna use some of these. I should have put these on the right hand side. I just talked about how this doesn't make sense to me. In a previous video of putting the checks, the check boxes on the left, then when you actually check it off, it's on, I don't know, it seems like it would be on the right. So I watch a lot of YouTube. I probably watch more YouTube than I do TV. And I watch a lot of the beauty gurus and I watch the drama channels, believe it or not. I don't even wear makeup like that. There is the sun. Oh man, I'm gonna use it. Um. So they really keep me entertained most of the time. It's amazing how people go nuts over the weirdest stuff, over makeup. <laughs> and most of the drama channels, oh, my leg came out. Most of the drama channels are talking about the beauty gurus. 
and they argue back and forth it's a mess then you have some gossip um, drama channels that are uh, specifically talking about entertainment like the Wendy Williams drama okay so I went and got my microns and I also have these other pins that are supposed to be for drawing I don't know if they're supposed to be good like I can't remember why I bought them but the Zig Mangaka <laughs> pins let's see so we'll do a little testing in the back the O1 I have an O5 and a, probably an O3 mm -hmm. oh no that's an O8 yeah it's bigger thicker thicker -er. Okay, let's see how they look on the other side. No bleed. Maybe some shadowing? I don't know. Can't. I don't really see any. Just a little shadowing. Okay, let's check with the microns. This is a thicker one. That one actually bleeds through more. Imagine that. I might use these instead, the zigs. Let's go with the zigs. Okay, Micron. Okay, one other thing I wanted to test though is will the mild liner smear on them? Let's try that. Okay, so I went and got my mild liners. See what happens here and if you didn't know a lot of people don't know this they are double um, tips they have two tips the wide tip and the metal tip so yeah the manga smear the ink you see that okay something that I don't like about the microns do too let's try a lighter color that's kind of dark let's just see if that bleeds through so yeah you can't even color too much with the mild liners on this paper yeah it'll smear it so whatever I'm gonna color I need to color before I use the pens
So I did a few little touch ups and I decided that I want to shade around these eggs some. I know I'm spending an excessive amount of time on this spread, um, but I just wanted to do it. So I know it's not something that you would do every week, but once in a while it's nice to do something like this. So it's more of like an art journal weekly kind of thing or an art journal entry. But anyway, so I'm going to off camera finish doing my shading and clean up my area a little bit and then I will come back and let you see what it looks like with all the shading done. And I'm just using that pencil set that I showed you to do that. So I guess now was the good a good time to open it. I'm not going to do color pencils in the background. I'm just going to use regular graphite. I think that is enough and it helps balance off some of the black. I'm going to go ahead and do the letters so that I can do the shading around them. Um, I'm going to use the microns for this. Even with just filling in the letters, it's starting to look better. It's hard moving from this, something like this, to this. But anyway. So this is where I'm at. I added the shading. I went ahead and started on the days of the week. I'm going to go back and finish those up with the thickening the downstroke. I've added, um, penciled in the April 2019, week 16, and I think once I do those, this spread will be complete. 